What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. I know it's been a while. I got saltwater merch right there with me. Today we're out here at Perdido Key, Florida. We're gonna be doing some surf fishing. It's been a while since I've been surf fishing, so I'm looking forward to catching something, hopefully. Um, this is actually a little bit late intro because we've actually been out here for a little bit. So we got a few fish, as you'll see in the video. I didn't remember to record an intro, so this is a post intro, but yeah, I don't know. If we don't get any fish, we're gonna go to the Mexican restaurant and get some margaritas, so hopefully get some fish. Guys, fishing is fishing sometimes. You're either gonna have a really amazing day well, you can just throw out here, but we're just happy to be here. And if we don't get another fish, might as well have some drinks and enjoy the day, right? Right, it's enough. Take some fresh dead shrimp or frozen shrimp. You peel the body, peel the hard shell off so it's nice and soft. Exoskeleton. You take your double drop. <laughs> That was a little cold. You take your double drop and you run the shrimp that's peeled straight on your hook like that. Gotta scoot back a little bit here in a second. Then you take your fish gum, run it like that. I'll tell you what fish gum is later on in the video, but let's get this casted out for now. So we got to pull out. All right, Merck's is on that first fish of the day. Did you have shrimp on there or just that? Let me see it. Pull back. I'm gonna grab him. Show the camera. All right, nice little whiting that Merce got right there. First fish of the day. We have these two rods rigged up exactly how I showed you before, which that rod at the end looks like it's actually getting messed with. Can't really tell. But what I like to do is I like to use a little smaller rod and we're gonna throw this one kind of short. Those two are kind of out there. We're gonna throw this one right where those waves are breaking right there. See if we can't pick up some whiting or some bait fish for a bigger fish. Is he on? Yeah, he's on. What'd he say? It ain't came out yet. Oh, you got it right there. Oh. Pompano. 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 Two Pompano. Another, another Pompano, guys. Little baby pomp. Oh, you're good. You can just take them off. Guys, guys. All right, I got a little pomp, and Merck's got some whiting. You see again, these really pretty colors, really nice yellows. This is Merckx's fish, little whiting, Southern Kingfish. That whiting that Merckx just caught, we're gonna go ahead and hook onto a single drop. We're just gonna go right in through that muscle and fat, straight out of it, let it hang out. So we got it on a single drop with a little Sputnik on the end. We're gonna walk down, pound a spike in.
this rod was getting bites. So what I like to do is I like to keep it really tight. And when you feel that little nibble or him pull, set the hook on him and pull him in. Double croaker. All right, well, I doubled up on croaker. As you can see, that's why you use two rigs right there. You can catch two fish. You get a big old redfish. That's Here. how I got my biggest redfish ever. So this is a croaker, and it's called a croaker because it actually makes a croaking noise. It's related to the drums. It's in the drum family, so fish bites and a peeled shrimp. And we got our four ounce Sputnik. So what the Sputnik does is, as you can see with the little spikes, it just grabs into the sand and holds on. Genius thing for fishing out here. It's not big. Another Pompano. Oh, pomp. I'm gonna call you the baby, baby Pomp King baby right pomp here. King right here. <laughs> He's calling for you. See these little small babies right there. There you go. Small one, but that's a good sign. That means it won't be coming through the next few weeks. There it is. That's a pretty color. Yeah, that's a pretty color, but the baby, baby pop. So let him go. It's all about the pacing for it, you know? <laughs> that's it. We got the, we got the fun, now we're waiting for the bad experience. So far, it's been a kind of slow day, but I'm gonna make sure I release this video. I'm gonna show you guys, some days is not the best. Some days you just catch a little fish, some days you don't do that. We do got some whiting, so we may go home, do a clean and cook with some whiting. Never know, we'll find out. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, Merck's on the big one. Is your camera on? Yeah, 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 okay. Guys, that's a big fish, guys. Rod was bent the whole way. Man, we were just talking about leaving. And Crooked Smile Fishes said, hey, let's wait a one more hour and it damn it paid off. Wow. Rod was bent once again. Ninja dagger, 11 foot rod, helps in casting distance. Wow. That rod was bent, guys. I, I thought I was gonna lose it. This is exactly why. Oh my gosh. That is not a small fish. Woo. He's close to coming in. Oh, oh, I feel him. I feel him, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa there, buddy. Whoa. What is that, guys? That's a shark. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Guys, I thought we had a red fish or something. It's a black tip or something. Hopefully, it doesn't break us off. Little baby one. Run him in, run him in. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Little Atlantic sharp nose. Just goes to show you never know what you're going to catch out here. In the surf. Atlantic, it's an Atlantic sharp nose. You see the dots? Yep. It's a big one too, honestly, for his, they don't get too big. Big, 
just like Crooked Smile Fishing said, these fish do not, these sharks do not get this too big. So there it is on the, on the single drop rig. I don't know how he didn't cut us off, but the good thing is we got on fish. We got dinner right now. And maybe we get lucky and get one more for you guys. Take We're going to go ahead and de-hook them and release them back. Take a look at the teeth on them right there. He is hungry. He got dinner. <laughs> There it goes, guys. Exactly why I use these mustard fiber hooks. When they go deep in there in the side, as you can see, it's hard to take out, but that means you won't lose as many as fish. Go ahead and release the shark. Shark nose. Oh. Uh. Mm. <laughs> he almost oh got. Oh my God! He almost got me. He almost got your hand, bro. There it goes, guys. He was angry. Heck yeah. All right, another pompano, guys. That's like number six or seven, so. Pompano king. Baby pompano king right here. That's a nice one. That is a good size whiting, guys. That's a, that's a whiting pompano tournament winner right there. Yeah, if I was fishing the tournament, guys, this is exactly what Crooked Smile said. I'll be falling with it in a nice surprise size whiting like this. Another whiting. I got this guy catching my dinner tonight. Look at this. <laughs> guys. We're not catching monsters out here. We're not catching hundreds of them. Oh, well, like Crooked Smile said, what'd you say? So we're catching, you're catching my dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been out here since seven this morning. It's going on 12 o'clock. We've caught those little bit of pompano, caught some whiting, mer saltwater mercs, caught a shark. All right, so I told you guys in the beginning of the video, after we're done fishing, me and Mercs, we're gonna go catch us some margaritas, some tacos. We're out here at Pedro's in Perdido Key, Florida. and. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed that video, make sure you click that like button, subscribe. Also, check out Merck's channel. He does all kinds of fishing all throughout Florida. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.